This is Chuck Freeman. I go by King Arthur. Here we are in Marina Park. Over here, we used to get food out for a while. You know, people uh, feed, and they say a dog leash required at all times. Cleaning up your after your dog it means you're cleaning your shit up. You know, uh, yeah, that's all bullshit. But but you look over here. This is where they used to serve food about over a year ago. And uh, right there in view is people playing tennis. The only reason they wanted the people out of here, I'll say this, I mean, this is one thing I'll speak up for the homeless. The only reason they wanted us out of here, uh, uh, for the, uh, because these uh, candy-ass motherfuckers, rich uh, uh, county, big uh, county, want to come over here and play tennis, you know. That's the only reason they want us out of here. I mean, I mean, there was things going wrong over here and such, but the only reason they wanted us out of here is because... The only reason they wanted us out of here is because they, uh, uh, they so these candy ass could uh, play tennis. They didn't want to, you know, be uh, seen running around. If there had been any other, other interest besides their tennis court, they wouldn't have done fucking shit for the homeless around here. I'm not speaking up for the homeless. Few homeless are being blackballed like me. I mean, I'm in that fucking uh, retarded category because I run my mouth on the system and they took my stuff at an uh, apartment I had. Had me arrested for threatening a judge, which they lied about. 22 months kept locked up uh, 20 months in a mental hospital they labeled me that years ago because they wanted my blood and uh, fucking trash down there recognized some of the fucking assholes down there at Cambridge sent me all the way down there fucking Jews and damn lawyers and trashy fucking people down there they sent me down there just to fuck me over just like they beat me up in the jail with the damn uh, guards over there four or five of them Two of them beat me up in a cell because I put water on the floor because the bastards wouldn't let me out to see a counselor. I had court dates coming up. If you if you don't take care of that, you're responsible for that. They hold that against you, and they and they kept me from a court date anyway. After that, sent me to a nut up for five days, brought me back, said I was okay. Then uh, over a month and a half later, they sent me all the way down. And said uh, I wasn't ca capable of standing trial. Uh, 2008, 20 months down the road there. And uh, when I was putting, and when I did put water on, there was two state troopers, a bitch, a little short ass, blonde headed little bitch, and a fucking uh, tall ass fucking uh, state trooper in the uh, control bubble at the old jail then, back in 2008, and Cecil County Detention Center. Then they pushed me in and got me in there in a the shower room where they, they strapped me in this look like a barber's chair, a dentist chair, they strapped me in there, chained my neck up, cuffed me, had me strapped, wrapped there in like barbed wire basically. Got me out of camera view and four or five of them hit me upside the head, right side of the head with their fist. They didn't hit me dead fist, but they took the, curled up the fist where the fingers curl, hit me three, uh, three or four times each of them, then pushed me back in front of camera view. I didn't cry or scream or nothing. That's what pissed them off even more. But don't lie about that, the bastards. And, and uh, nobody does nothing about it because they made their brags. They, uh, old Judge uh, uh, Richard Eli Jackson was up here in 2003. The circuit course, the bastard's supposed to be dead now. Uh, he made his brags. Uh, oh, he could get me put in jail, get hurt, or he get his cop to pull his gun and shoot me. And he said it in a roundabout way, you know. That's how dirty these goddamn bastards are. Look at the Cecil County cops, the crew cut faggots. They're all fucking related.